welcome to News Report Daily. Today's video is Hannity versus Keith Ellison, Democratic Congressman, on the sequester. Uh, now, the sequester basically is a cut in the growth of spending. If you don't know what that is, it's not going to do much to hurt the economy. All right, and uh, yeah, I just kind of want to throw it. It's not going to do much to hurt the economy. Uh, Obama is putting out a bunch of stare tactics. Uh, in fact, today, uh, when Bob Woodward uh, came out and said that he had an article to publish basically proving that the sequester would not hurt the economy, he was threatened by the White House, saying that he would regret it. Regret it. And uh, he went ahead and published it anyway. And Obama actually lightened down on the stare tactics in a speech today. But let's watch. Um, Hannity invited the Democratic congressman onto his uh, program. Uh, let's watch what happened right off the bat here. Even when the Obama sequester takes effect on Friday, it's because the president was more concerned with fear mongering than finding a solution to the problem that he himself created. Joining me now with some insight, Democratic Congressman Keith Ellison of Minnesota. Congressman, welcome back, sir. You bet. Uh, I guess he's, that's what we could describe as staying on message, uh, something the Democratic Party, I would argue, is very good at. Let me ask You're you, pretty good at it, too. I, I, well, I mean, thank you. you know, quite frankly, you are the worst excuse for a journalist I've ever seen. This I am absurd, the what? The I can't hear you. You heard me. I didn't know. Say it again. I didn't hear you. I heard you. I mean, what you just displayed was not journalism. It was yellow journalism. It wasn't anything close to trying to tell the American people what's really going on. And, I mean, it's just shocking. To yellow me. journalism? You, the, to play you, Obama yes. in his own words is yellow journalism? No. Well, with the background music and with your lead up before you, you let the president talk, let me tell you, I was here. The pre everything the president said is absolutely true. Yeah. And for you to try to make the American people think that it isn't is deceptive on your part. Well, and yeah. it's a breach of everything, cons every, every, every journalistic ethic I have ever heard of was just violated by you. And the really? president was truthful. The president was honest. The president, what the president said was dead on accurate. And for you to say the president is to blame here is ridiculous. I was there August 2011 when the Republican. All right, so that's obviously uh, him being a jerk. And he actually lied about uh, about that fact. He says that uh, that uh, it was Congress that came up with the sequester. It was actually Obama that came up with the sequester. Uh, but. A little bit more goes on. I'm just going to let you guys kind of watch it for a minute. And uh, so let's start. Let's just watch it for a little bit. It's your party, which you shamelessly I'm not a Republican. represent. Let me you, are the you are nothing but a Republican. A, no, no. And, yes, sir, you are. Sir, yes, you are. Sir, I'm you a registered. Are. I'm and, a re and, well, sir. Well, let me just say. I am no, not no, a registered I'm Republican. Republican. You, I'm a you registered are, conservative. You are a shill for the Republican Party. I am a registered and conservative, you sir. Them right, let me ask you a question. I've given no, you no, plenty. I've given you, you, I could rant, and Hello? I am. I've given and you so, plenty of time to rant, Congressman. Now, we'll now let it's you, we'll sir, let you get a word. You're in. Go again. Ahead. Oh, you're so nice to give me a word on my own program. Okay, I, I changed let my me mind. ask you a question. As a matter of fact, let me ask you. Let me ask you. You said the president was Congressman. Come, I will give you your chance. I gave you three minutes to rant. Calm down. I gave what you three you minutes. About? Relax. I'm hey, got a question for you. Are you. You were invited on the program to answer a question. Right. I want to give you a couple questions. You said, no, and I'm gonna, and you I'm said, if, uh, Congressman, issue. Congressman, let me ask I'm you a question. What I think is right. Why are you so angry? You're so angry. Let me ask Why you a question. So I'm not angry. I'm so laughing angry? at you because I think this Why is actually so, comical. I'm laughing at you. All right. I'm here's my question. You. Here's my question for you. it's the first time. I'm Listen, I invited you on. I gave you three minutes to rant. Now let me ask you a question. We'll have a discussion. I got dialogue in, in the spirit of bipartisanship let's find a dialogue i want to ask you this me? i thought you weren't a republican max i'm a registered conservative lie? i am yeah, sir right. you want to make a thousand dollar bet that i'm a registered conservative you want to make a ten thousand dollar bet i don't bet i don't bet i'm just telling you i'm a registered conservative you can but i wrote a yeah, book called whatever. conservative victory i didn't write republican what, victory you Chris, you, you're, you're ranting really to... well well, Look, right. Can well, I ask you, you a like question? What I'm you is it, I'm here's a simple question. You don't is like it what I'm saying, but you're a bully, it, Sean, and I'm not backing question. down to you. Is it immoral, is it immoral to you are put immoral 16 and a half? Lies. I'm immoral? What did I yes. do that's immoral? I didn't do you anything that's immoral. Mr. You, you say things that aren't true. Uh, give me one example, sir. Well, to try to say that it is uh, that it is uh, the president's fault and he is to blame is wrong and it's a it's lie. not it's his not fault true. that we have 16 it's trillion no. in debt he didn't add six oh, no, trillion it isn't. we didn't add no, six no, no. trillion dollars the to the debt since he's been president no no no, no you, we did no, add you, six you, trillion to debt since he's been well, president. What about the other 10? All right. Let's talk about the other 10. Congressman, you are a Who's total waste of time. I'm moving on because our audience yeah. deserves better. Thank you for being there with us. Go. I tried to give you a fair shot. 
Okay, but now I have a problem uh, with the, with this person. This person is your average, your average Democrat. I'm sorry, uh, because of the fact that he, when uh, Sean Hannity, like I just showed you, uh, argues about, uh, you know, he he brings up the six trillion dollars of debt uh, under Obama. Uh, you know, he just goes and says, oh, well, let's talk about the other ten trillion. Let's talk about the other ten trillion. Every single Democrat in the world does that because they can't think of an excuse uh, to combat Obama's failed policies over the past four years because. The fact that Obama has done nothing correct angers Democrats uh, because they like him, uh, and the fact that he cannot do his job properly angers them. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching today. I'll put up another video tomorrow, uh, hopefully on the sequester, because tomorrow is the day of sequester. I'll see you then.